Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back. Happy Saturday. I hope you guys are having an amazing day and I hope you had a fabulous week. For today's video, of course, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my Heaven at TJ Maxx video. It's where I go, of course, to TJ Maxx and Marshalls and I share with you guys the latest and greatest in makeup and skincare and hair care goodies. Uh, for this week, I have to say it was probably one of the most solid weeks ever. So thankful for that. Thank you. Um, and yeah, I found a lot, a lot of stuff. I hope you guys enjoy this. I'm looking forward to reading your comments down below. Oh, but also before we get started, I started a new series on my channel called Yes or No at Blank Store. So, so far I've done Yes or No at Marshalls, Yes or No at TJ Maxx. I'll leave those videos linked down below. I would love your feedback on them. So definitely keep me posted. Also, I have a giveaway running in those videos as well in one video. There are gonna be two winners. So one winner is gonna receive this package of goodies and then the other winner is gonna receive this package of goodies so if you guys want to enter there is a few more days left to enter this giveaway i'll definitely leave a video link down below but yeah let's go ahead and get started with the footage i hope you guys enjoy this <laughs> Okay, so first up I see they have this Buxom full-on plumping lip cream. So it's a cream lip gloss. It is $4.99 at Marshalls and it is in Havana Punch. They also do have another one of the lip mousses, the lo-fi lip mousses here from Urban Decay. This right here is in the shade Fade. I think this is the eighth or ninth one that I found to date. So all of them seem to be appearing at Marshalls and TJ Maxx's. This is $4.99 and it is a full size. Such a stunning color. And then I'm so excited about this one. Today we've only found a few Jouer glosses at Marshalls and TJ. Today I found this Lucky and Luminous Creme Highlighter Palette. It's only $5.99 which is super affordable. Um, there are four cream luminous shades here. You can mix and match, wear each one on their own. I've never tried out the Jouer Cream Formulas. I don't know if it's good or not, but it's still pretty cool to find this for like six bucks. Next up, they have some of these Hydra Mist um, Set and Refresh Powder. So it's ki it kind of goes on your face wet and then it dries down. Interesting concept. I don't know how much I love this. It's $5.99. It's a small deluxe size from Becca. They also have tons of restocks here on Jouer. So we saw this gloss last week, but we haven't seen this beautiful one. These are full sizes for only $3.99. Such a great deal. You guys can see what this color looks like. Beautiful white champagne -y goodness. It's in the shade Frostbite. Love. They also have these Estee Lauder uh, Sumptuous Rebels Mascaras. So both in black, just deluxe sizes, two little pieces here. $4.99 at TJ. I've never tried this, so I don't know if it's good personally. And they also have this Estee Lauder Matte Powder here in light and medium. There was only one piece. Apparently it is a full size though, $16.99. And then there is a plastic on top there, but you guys can still see it's a beautiful mid-tone um, powder. Very pretty. I see that they have more of the Trolls palettes here. So we've never seen so much in one shot. I usually found one here, one there. And these are only $4.99 each. They're so cute. They also have the full size of the Set and Refresh Hydra Mist uh, Powder here by Becca. The full size is a $9.99 in the limited edition breast cancer awareness packaging. And then we have some goods here from Smashbox. We've seen the primer quite a few times and we've seen this quite a few times, but we've never seen this, I don't think. It's the Halo Healthy Glow All-in-One Tinted Moisturizer with SPF 25, $14.99. And all of them are in the same shade, light. Here's what the product looks like. It has like that squishy packaging. There's 1.4 fluid ounces of product in here. And it seems nice. I feel like it would be a great day-to-day -day product for a nice, fast, go-to, easy, natural type of look. I found another one of the Buxom lip polishes here. This one right here is in Lisa. I wish they had the name Leora. I'm creating a Buxom gloss that's called Leora. I don't care, but this is really pretty. It's a nice um, copper color. This is exciting. They have some of these Jouer Kitten liners here. So this right here is like a um, ink liner, felt tip liner. It's in jet black, full size, $4.99. Although the packaging looks like it's a deep brown, but it does say that this is a jet black liner. They have some of these Laura Geller full face brushes here that I figured I would show you guys and it is $4.99. Not bad. It's really crazy to me yet really cool to find the Laguna bronzer here by NARS. This is a full size so it's in their older packaging but I think I like this more because it picks up nicer on the brush with their newer sun bronzing uh, bronzer. I think that's what it's called. Um, they have a hard pen really quickly but this one right here is good for $16.99 original life 42. Here is what we're working with. Really pretty. I've gone through two or three deluxe sizes of these completely. It's one of my go-to favorite bronzers ever. So good. I also found one of the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfectors here in Rose Gold. This is just a small little baby size and it is retailing for only $5.99. Love these. They have this MAC Single Shadow here. Um, it's a matte finish in Best of Me and these little ones are $6.99. Pretty good deal on MAC Tight. They're $15. Next up, we have one of these Milk Makeup Blur Sticks. It's just a small little baby size for $4.99. It's a luminous blur stick. 
And then they also have these little ones here by Milk as well. How beautiful is the packaging? This is the holographic stick and it is $4.99 as well. It doesn't come with the box. And then they have these Milk Makeup um, sticks here. They're full sizes. Love. And, well, I don't know if it's good. I've never tried it, but the packaging is cute. It's the Luminous Blur Stick. So yeah, we have that in the full size as well for $9.99. We have a full stock here of the Milk Makeup Bronzers. These are in Blades. They're 9 dollars you guys can see. Um, shades on top there. But I have this in the lighter shade and I like it. It's pretty good. Next, they have this really cute kit here. The Runway Spring 2020 Marc Jacobs Collection. Adorable. And this is $14.99. So here are the products that are included. We get one full-size liner in a beautiful lilac color, which is called Mismatched. We get a deluxe size gloss, enamored gloss in cream and sugar, beautiful day-to-day -day color. And then the dew drops in um, Do You. So two deluxe sizes and one full size. For the price, I think it's actually pretty good. I love their liners, their glosses are heaven, and their dew drops are pretty nice too. They have tons of Bliss skincare here today. This brand is sold on Target. I haven't tried much from them, but they look good. This is the Green Tea Wonder Clarifying Overnight uh, Gel Mask with Azelaic Acid, I want to say is what it's how it's pronounced. Only $4.99. Cute, cute packaging, let me tell you. I feel like this would be great if you have oily skin. Ooh, then they have this one right here, which is the Gradual Bronzing Overnight Mask. So cool. Full size, 1.7 fluid ounces, $4.99. And then this also looks really good, the In The Honey Mega Moisturizing Lavender Honey Mask. Probably great if you have dry skin, $4.99 full size as well. And then we also have this here from Bliss. It's the Triple Oxygen Self-Activating Facial, $4.99 full size. This is so cute and so eye-catching. It's the Fabu Lips uh, Sugar Lip Scrub and Polish, also by Bliss. And this is $3.99 full size, adorable. Next I see they have more of the Morphe lipsticks here for only $3.99. We found a few of these last week. It's in a reddish shade and it's called Steamy, full size. This right here is so exciting. I only found one piece. It is by Becca. It's the Pearl Glow Lip Tint for only $7.99. Haven't tried these really, but I've tried a few of their like lip balm lip tints and they're heaven from like a different line. So I'm assuming this is nice and it is in the shade Rose, a light pinky shade. They also have this brand here. It's called Indie Lee. This is a clearing mask. It sounds really interesting. Definitely a little bit more on the price tier set for TJ Maxx, but I'm assuming it's a pretty solid brand. I know the products are typically definitely much more expensive than this. It also does say deep cleanse, soothe, and nourish the complexion with this gentle yet effective treatment mask. I don't know how popular this specific product is. I'm going to mention that it doesn't have the bestest reviews out there. So to keep you guys posted, it's the Rose Hip Cleanser by the same Indie Lee brand. It is $12.99 and in here we are getting 4.2 fluid ounces. I like the bottle. It's a glass beautiful bottle and it has a pump to it too. This right here is super cool. It is the NARS Explicit Content Climax Mascara Set. So we get a full size mascara and a deluxe size. How beautiful is the packaging? Um, are very pretty. I've never tried these but it looks pretty good. And it's only $14.99 for one full size and one deluxe size, which I think is pretty good. <laughs> How much time did I just say that? <laughs> they also stocked up on these Buxom um, eyeshadow palettes. I think that we saw these months, months, months ago, but I guess it's newer for this time around. $14.99, they have a full stock. This palette is called Dolly's Wild Side. Really pretty. We get a lot of neutral tones and a few purples as well. Three metallics, it seems like, and three mattes. It also comes with a, a little baby brush as well. Next, they have the Smashbox Vitamin Glow Primer here. It's just a deluxe size, but you still get a decent amount in here. What, 0.44 fluid ounces? A great way to test it out to see if you like it. I think if you have dry skin, you'd probably enjoy it. It is $6.99. In this section here, I see that they have tons of restock, so just to keep you guys informed and posted. And then up here, they have tons of Oma Beauty products that we've seen in the past, some Pure Cosmetics, Stila, uh, L'Oreal. Then here in this section, we have tons of Pixie and Marc Jacobs and more of the Benefit Brow products which are literally everywhere. They also have this hydrating mask here from Kiehl's. It looks pretty good. It says it's for all skin types, $12.99. I'm assuming it would be extra amazing for those who have a dry skin. I love Kiehl's skincare. They also have the Bliss Pore Patrol um, exfoliator which looks amazing. So a facial scrub, full size, and it is $4.99. Today's definitely a bliss day. They have this Blix, Bliss, sorry, X Glotion Radiance Boosting Eye Cream. Sounds cool. It has vitamin C, which is great for the daytime. And this is $5.99. And then they also have the Hydration Salvation um, 
Ooh, Camellia Facial Oil. This looks so good. Oh my goodness, my heart wants it. And this right here is retailing for only $5.99. Really nice. The only other Camellia oil I've tried was from Milani. That was good. I found this right here from Lime Crime. It's the Liquid Highlight Highlighter in Blue Ice. You guys can see there it has a dropper to it. It's basically a blue highlighter. It is only $3.99. It is a full size. You can mix this in with your foundation or use it on your cheekbones. It's probably going to be pretty pigmented and I don't know how wearable it's going to be, but it's still pretty exciting to find it. And then a bunch of you guys told me that you've been finding tons of Kaja products. I'm so excited to see these here today. So firstly, we do have the uh, Mochi Glow Bouncy Blendable Highlighter in Prism. So pretty. I'll, sh I'll throw up a pic here on the screen. Full size, of course. I love the Kaja brand. Everything that they have is so cutesy. Uh, and this is only $2.99. Craziness because online this is like 20 something. And then I love the packaging of this one. It's the Sparkling Eye Pigment in Cosmic. A beautiful blue shade. Packaging is stunning. Full size. And it is retailing for only $2.99. Also such a great deal because online this is like 20 And then I just wanted to show this quickly. It's the I'm Heart Blu uh, Stamp Blusher. Blusher. Um, it's from the I'm Mimi brand. I've never heard of it, but it was so cute. It was near the uh, Kaja stuff. So this is $2.99. I think it's a Korean-based brand. It's sim similar concept to the Kaja blushes. I believe it has like a stamp heart situation. You stamp it on your face and then blend it out. Really cute. And this color seems beautiful. This Marshall's really hooked it up. We have the Lime Crime products, the MAC lipsticks, the lo-fi blushes, everything is so neat here as well <laughs> and I don't see that often uh, the buxom glosses, what else um, lipstick queen glosses more kaja, pixie just yumminess and then spotted right there in the middle love you, I just love you those ben beauty bento uh, single shadows the little stacks, just they're the cutest ever okay so we have some duplicates these are firstly only $3.99 each Oh my goodness, on to four, they're 21. The two shades we have are Rose Water, which is one I believe that I own already, and then Chocolate Dahlia, which looks yummy. Okay, so here's pretty much what Rose Water looks like. It's like a little stack with three single shadows. And then this one right here is in Chocolate Dahlia. It's more of like a neutral nude a little stack. Totally picking this one up. I also just found this right here by Marc Jacobs, super beautiful. These are the Sequins Glitter Eyeshadows, full sizes, and it is only $7.99. How stunning is this color? There's a little close-up, a beautiful white with like little iridescence like running through it. Right, next up we have this cutie right here as well from Kaja. It's one of the Air Heart lipsticks. This right here is in 03 Ride or Die. I love that name. I love this color. Seems like it's going to be a nice neutral nude. Only $3.99. And I love the fact that it's actually shaped like a heart. So pretty. And I'm assuming the quality is going to be amazing. Uh, they also have a bunch of the Don't Settle Kaja Seamless and... Um, what's it called, flexible concealers here, um, $3.99 each, full sizes, super cute packaging, I'm loving the light blue lid, um, the top shade there is in 06, and then the bottom one is in 04, um, these are the two shades that I found so far, so pretty, I found another one of the Marc Jacobs sequin um, glitter eyeshadows here, also full size, also $7.99, it's a beautiful like rustic brown color, and this right here is in the shade Topaz Flash. This is really exciting. It's the True Portrait Foundation here by Kat Von D. Pretty cool. It's the Liquid to Powder Foundation. They did not have much pieces, but we did find this one here today. Full size, $9.99. Really cool packaging, I must say. And it is in medium 033. Um, they also have some of these NARS lipsticks here. The Rouge lipsticks. Full sizes. This is $7.99. Okay, and then I'm honestly so excited about these finds. I haven't found a bunch of lip products like this in different shades in a while, so pretty cool. These are from Lime Crime. It's the Lip Blaze Butter Plus Glazes. $5.99 full sizes. These are all in different shades. So here are what the first four shades look like. Starting from the left, that red is Mary Jane. Next, we have the shade Bud. Then we have the shade Moss. And then we have the shade Cash, which is more of like a lighter concealer nude. I think these are supposed to be like glosses. Okay, then we have these four shades starting from the top we have jade ivy herb and then we have the shade clover so tons of nudes in the collection everything looks beautiful they also have some of these kaja heart melter glow sticks which sounds amazing 3.99 they have it all in one shade though they have tons of one shade basically here's what the product looks like it's a beautiful rosy tone shade and it is in the color so fine i've never tried any of these but for the price i feel like it's so affordable if this line isn't too long i might get it so excited about more of these kaja finds um i'm at a different marshall's and i see that they have um 
different um, kaja little stacks here. So some that we've seen and some that we haven't, and then more of these guys. So once again, these little eyeshadow stacks are only $3.99, such an amazing value. I love that it says the expiration date there as well. This one right here is one we haven't seen yet. It's in 02 Orange Blossom, so we have more of like those nudish brown tone shades. And then we have this one right here as well in 07 Glowing Guava. Seems like it has more of like those brownish, nudish type of shades. Then I found another one of the Moon Crystal Sparkling Eye Pigments here. <clears throat> These are only $2.99. So affordable. I think this is a shade that we haven't seen. It's in Dark Matter. I also wanted to quickly show you guys just a little cute makeup bag that they have here. These are by Ray Dunn. Well, except that one right there. And I love how each one has its own saying and they're retailing for $9.99 each. And we have them in a bunch of different sizes. This right here looks pretty interesting. I've never tried it, so I don't know if it works or not. But it's the Neutrogena Blackhead Eliminating Strip to Scrub. Very interesting. Sounds like a pretty cool concept. And it's only $2.99, which I think is pretty good because Neutrogena typically retails for, I don't know, $10 to $20 to $30 sometimes, depending on the product. I think this is pretty cool. It's the Petty Scrub in a sponge. So you can use it for your like toes. It says ex exfoliates, it cleanses, and moisturizes, and massages. I have one of these that I purchased from Ulta, and I really like it. You can use it up to 20 plus washes about. Um, and I think it's also supposed to help with like cellulite and all of that. So far I do like these, the one that I purchased from Ulta at least. I love these Shiseido facial cotton pads. I always stock up. Um, these are $3.99 here at Marshalls. And here we are getting, I think, 40? Yeah. So this is so exciting. This is the IGK Mistress Hydrating Hair Balm. This is amazing if you have dead ends, if you need a little bit more of like a shine, uh, if your hair needs a little bit more of a pick-me-up. I spoke about this in my uh, previous video that I made earlier this week, basically. There's no price on it, but I'm assuming it's around the $10 price tag. You need this, it's so good. They also have the Verb Shampoo here. I saw this in a kit, but I haven't seen it separately yet. And this right here is only $10.99. Their products are made without sulfates and parabens, which is amazing. Okay, they also have the repairing mask, which is pretty much the conditioner, also $10.99. I love the IGK packaging. The products look so cool. We have the Cry Baby anti frizz Soothing Serum, $7.99, and then the Speechless Dry Oil Finishing Spray for $9.99. Next up, we have the Burt's Bees Goodness Glow Liquid Makeup. Emma's here. She wants to say hello. Hi, everyone. <laughs> so cute. Uh, turn up to the water. She's the best one. Oh, she's the sweetest. Honestly, I love her. Um, these here are retailing for $7.99 and they have a bunch a bunch of shades to choose from so they just hooked it up pretty much Okay, more of the milk makeup cream bronzers. We saw the shade blaze which is a deeper shade But they have the shade baked here as well. I own one of these. I don't remember which shade I have I don't know if it's baked. It's not really ringing a bell, but $9.99 Right, I think that they only have two shades. I probably have this one They also have this really cute kit here in collaboration with Hello Kitty by The Creme Shop. This is Adorbs Okay, then you open it up just like this. It has a magnetic closure um, We get a little like cute headband. We get this um, And then we also get the strawberry champagne bath crystals. How cute is this one? I love it. They also have the Saint Tropez whipped marshmallow self tanning mousse and luxe mitt here And I was like Leo, you have to show this and I was like I kind of do this is beautiful I know that this brand is sold on Sephora's website and I want to say these are fairly new products to Saint Tropez line So pretty cool to see it here. So it has 6.7 fluid ounces of product on the inside It comes with a mitt as well $18.99. They also have this really cute like ornament style um, body shop kit here yeah it says bath bomb party turn and turn it is $7.99 really cute they also have this kit here by Ahava love this brand and here we are getting the mineral body lotion the mineral hand cream and then the shower gel really really nice beautifully presented each one has 3.4 fluid ounces of products so they're full sizes and this is only $16.99 wow what a deal I want this this is really cute. They have some kits here from Moda. This is the Prismatic um, Beautiful Eyes Flip Kit. Love the colors of the like, brush handles. Really pretty. So we get like, what, two, four, six brushes and a little like little brush baggie in the back there. And this right here is $9.99. Beautifully presented. So cute. Next, they have this set here by Moda. It's the Rosé Complete Kit. We get two face brushes and two eye brushes. Also very cutely presented. Also comes with a bag as well. They also have this Becca Kabuki brush here. Like, it literally looked like a foundation. Like, that's what the box looked like. But no, it, it's actually a Kabuki brush. Full size. It looks pretty good. Pretty hefty. Only $5.99. Super affordable. I don't think I've ever tried Becca brushes, but this looks good. 
They also have this kit here by Living Proof. So it's the silicone detox kit. It says reveal healthier hair. It comes with a bunch of goodies like the perfecting spray, the dry shampoo, restore conditioner, and restore shampoo. It also comes with like a little baggie here that you could totally reuse some full size product and some deluxe sizes. Or original value 58 bucks. But here at TJ Maxx, it is only $29.99, which I think is still kind of up there, but I guess it's somewhat half off. And then they also have this brush kit here by BH Cosmetics. I don't know what the quality is like, but there are 12 brushes included in here as well as like a little brush holder. I think you get face and eye brushes. Pretty cute. And this is $12.99. It's pretty hefty also. Also probably would be a really nice gift. Next, they have this Ines Free Velvet Cover Foundation. How beautiful does this look? Stunning. So I did find this shade C47, and it is $7.99. It's a full size. I've tried a few of their skincare products, but I haven't tried any of their makeup. Um, hopefully, it will be nice. They also have the Ines Free Intensified um, Serum here. Full size as well. 1.69 fluid ounces of product, and this is only $14.99. Solid price. We also have the Ines Free Mineral Moisture Fitting Base, which I'm assuming is just a primer. 1.35 fluid ounces, and this right here is $6.99. Next, they have this Bobbi Brown Bronzing Powder. This is a matte finish, beautiful quality, and it is only $14.99, which is great for Bobbi Brown because usually her products are like in the 30s, 40s, 50s. Also, this is in the shade Stone Street 16. And next they have this Shimmering Skin Perfect here by Becca in the shade Chocolate Geode. I've never seen this. I didn't even know that this existed, honestly. Kind of cool. It's a full size. Love the Shimmering Skin Perfectors. This would be great if you have a medium to deep skin tone. Beautiful. Um, and this is only $7.99. Such a solid deal. Um, typically these retail for $42, I want to say, on Sephora. They also have a bunch of the Buxom lift polishes here so i believe these are new shades that we've never seen really exciting on sephora and also these are 21 i believe but here are marshall uh, tj it's 5.99 these are full sizes i love them they're plumping they're comfortable have a little bit of like a tingling feel to them but it's not like omg in my opinion i, I think they're good so here are the first three shades we have jasmine stunning color wow amanda and rebecca I've then they have these three gorgeous shades Alyssa is like a white with a pinky iridescence to it grace and then maria and then we have the shade jacqueline it's more of like a terracotta color i hope you guys enjoyed seeing what tj maxx and marshall's had to offer and let me share with you guys a few things that i ended up picking up we picked, i picked up a decent amount so i picked up one of the lip blaze uh lip products by lime prime this right here is in the shade clover it's what i'm wearing on my lips today 5.99 I feel like most of the shades were somewhat pretty similar, but I think that this one just spoke to me the most. It's more of like a cool toned nude. The quality of these lip products are amazing. Like it has like a nice mousse like butter texture. Very, very unique. I have to say, I don't think that I've ever tried anything like this. It's not kiss proof or anything. So you can see there, but it still has amazing pigmentation. And so far it's been lasting amazingly on the lips. So I really enjoy that. I also picked up one of the Marc Jacobs uh, sequins eyeshadows. This is in Topaz Flash. It was way too gorgeous to leave there. So here you guys can see what it looks like. Really pretty, just a great day-to-day -day color. Um, it definitely seems like it has more of a water-based feel to it, but it has great pigmentation to it too. So we'll see how it performs on the eye. So far, not bad. I did also pick up one of the Kaja lipsticks in Ride or Die. This is the only shade that I found there. Hopefully I'll be able to find more, but how gorgeous is this? It's like in the shape of a heart, so cute. And then here you guys can see, this is deliciously creamy. And the shade is really stunning too. It has more like a rosiness to it compared to like the Lime Crime. I did also pick up one of the Mochi Glow highlighters by Kaja. This is the only shade that I found so far in Prism 02. It's like a bouncy highlighter, really, really yummy. Here you guys can see what it looks like. It seems very, very light in tone. I feel like it would be a great layering highlighter maybe. Um, the consistency seems pretty nice and smooth, so we shall see. And then I also picked up one of the Kaja stacks. This right here is in Chocolate Dahlia. I didn't want to pick up the other few that I saw, but the lines were way too long, so I'm like, I'm just, I'm not gonna wait. I love the packaging of these uh, Kaja little stacks, the cutest ever. Um, but yeah, here are what the shades look like swatched. I feel like that matte brown was a little bit patchy. The other ones seemed like they swatched pretty nicely, but we'll see how it performs on the eyes. I like the other little stacks I have from them, so I'm assuming it'll perform well on the eyelids. And so that is pretty much it for this haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely enter the giveaway if you guys would want to. And I'm looking forward to your comments. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.